Welcome to Small Life. Inspired by Peter Brown's jeans bracelets, I've decided to make a few jeans rings and see, well, what my wife likes about that. If she likes them or not. First things first, I just cut these old jeans into, well, let's see, we have eight layers. And I can always trim the ring down so it's going to be easy. But getting it thicker is a bit harder. What we need to do next is we need to install sort of a mold to cast epoxy. That's alright. It's not a 100% fit. That's going to be okay. Okay, I have this from one of my kids. You can just pour it in. And that's it. We'll give it a good mix. And we're going to impregnate it into the fabric. I only have five minutes, so <laughs> I better hurry up. Very shrewdly, I didn't hit the star button. I thought I did. Apparently, I didn't. So, this is out of the protective box. As I, you can see, I can't remove all the paper. That's that's going to be done on the lathe. I'm going to... This is really rigid. I'm going to drill that. And let me get set up here, and I'll show you how it's done. Well, this is the first cut, and I'm sorry to say it is delaminating, and I don't know if it's from the heat, or from the epoxy not bonding properly. There's only one way to do that. I'm going to drill a second hole. This time I'm not going to use the 14 millimeter bit. This is... Um, this is not interesting anymore. And geez, getting that out will not be easy. Okay, I'll get it out eventually and I'll show you the plug. I want to see if the plug has delaminated. Just wait a second. It's going to take me a lot longer, but wait a second. Okay, this part has not delaminated. I actually had to pry it force, and it's still only one layer delaminated. So. This probably delaminated because of the heat. So let's try another cut. And this time, I've set up a small container that will hold the water. And I, so I won't drill through the container. I, I paste a sheet of paper, a few sheets of paper, inside. And let's see how this works. We've done it. 
There was a price to it. And I should say I've never done any, made any blue paste before, but we did get it out. It is solid, it does not delaminate, so the heat was the problem, as I suspected. And basically we're ready to go to continue with the turning. I'll uh, convert the mill into a lathe back again and clean it thoroughly. And also I'll, um, I'll be sure to oil it as well because there's blue, blue water paste, whatever, all over the place. That's a drawback. And even my t-shirt got some. So, <laughs> I think I'll, I'll need a taller wall vessel next time, but uh, that's doable, definitely. As you can see from the purplish waste we're generating here, I've been test drilling. And sorry, I'm so enthusiastic I forgot to show you guys. So I've spotted using a star drill bit. And then did a 4mm drill and 6 and we're going to get to the 8 and 10 millimeter. Why 10? Because 10 millimeters is the diameter of my boring bar head. So if I want to use a boring head to do that, to get through, yeah, well that, we got to do it. Let's give it a go. Now we're nearly there. A small step to go. I just want to make sure I'm, I can get into the chuck without hitting anything, and I can, so that's okay. We can put, put it back in there. And I'm not holding it really tightly. It's fairly loose. Not obviously too loose, but it's fairly loose. Let's give it a go. One thing for sure, we have a 10 millimeter hole in there. Okay, so we've backed this up. Not sure if you can see it, but this black line is a rubber ring. A fairly thick and stiff rubber ring. And we have the boring bar mounted. I'll give it a go. As you can see, I have mounted it on a wood block. And I've also noticed one crucial point I think you should know if you want to make such a thing. Whenever I make a pass, a lot of material will stick to the tip, to the cutting tip. So I have to remove it after each pass and then it's just fine. Well, here we have it. It's a ring. It's soft. 
you can see that it's not really rock hard solid yet if you can hear that it's definitely behaving like a solid material it's not delaminating I do believe that had it been a little bit thicker it would be more rigid yet as you can hear it's behaving like a solid matter this is really nice and you can actually feel the fibers you can feel it and it's nice so this has been a cute little project it's been a fun little project I'm not sure if I'd repeat it another way I would probably use another type of glue this is fairly stiff I can't bend it I can't break it but it's still not ideal I think I needed more glue more epoxy and I do think I probably needed some sort of a press and to press it tightly which I didn't have so there are things that could be could have been done better there are things that I could have done smarter but um, that's it you have a jeans ring <laughs> and I'm quite pleased with it I should say I'm quite pleased with it so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it bye